Well, good morning, church family. It's lovely to be out and about a little bit nowadays. And we've had such amazing weather. And we just trust that you're all doing well. Praying much for you guys. And uh, as always, if you have uh, anything on your heart that you would like us to pray with you about, then please let us know. And if we can come by and visit, then I would love to come and spend some time with you. I have been to see a number of our church folk already. And would love to come and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with you and just to pray with you. Well, this morning, I just wanted to encourage you, um, when we have our lockdown and people are not allowed to go out and about as much, even though it's relaxed a lot more now, and even uh, hairdressers and barbers are reopening, uh, things are a lot easier, restaurants are allowing people to sit in now, but uh, limited amounts of people. Um, and most of you are back at work now, back into most of your normal routine, I guess. But I think, uh, for me, one of the learning experiences is uh, that we are reminded in Psalm 1 where it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. And I think the lesson that I've learned over this time, and just to trust that it would be a great encouragement to you, is that the church is made up of the body of Christ, the believers, not a building. And uh, the fact that uh, many of you have not been able to attend the church service because we've not been able to have meetings yet, and, and that is something that is still to be reviewed at the end of this month again by myself and Dave and Phil as to when we will consider to reopen our formal meetings again and miss having communion and our time of fellowship together in that way. But the church is made up of Christians, individuals, you and I. And the wonderful thing is that when we're at home and we don't have as much opportunity to get together with others and fellowship with them, it has uh, reinstated or refreshed or reminded us that each one of us, you and I, have a, a personal responsibility to get into the Word of God on a regular basis, to pray as individuals on a regular basis. And that's all part of our discipleship and our spiritual sanctification as we grow in our walk with the Lord and mature as Christians and children of God, that each day we would take time to spend time in His Word, time in prayer, uh, praying with people, sharing with others the Gospel, and telling them the things that we have learned. And so I trust that over this last few months with the lockdown and this uh, coronavirus pandemic that uh, you would have been encouraged to just solidify your daily quiet time, your daily devotional time with the Lord and that you are spending time regularly and faithfully in His Word. And that's part of the reason why we do our little fun pop quiz on a Friday. Uh, it's fun, but it's really just a, a way to motivate and encourage you that you can spend some time in the Word of God and that you would uh, dig in there and look and search more than just reading but studying it uh, and hence uh, for this coming Friday's quiz we uh, have encouraged you to read through the Gospel of Mark which is what we are preaching through in our sermon series this year and not only that but then that you would come up with questions that we would use for our quiz this Friday so even if you are not involved and in, in participating in answering the questions for the quiz on a Friday night I need you to help us to put together some questions for our folk that do participate. And the encouragement is then for you to dig into God's Word, not just to read it, but to look for things, to search for things, and to find wonderful treasures and truths from God's Word. You know, as we've seen in Psalm 1 this morning, that in essence then is like a tree that has been planted by a river. It has its nourishment, its source of refreshment and growth, is stimulated in the seasons that it needs to be. It bears fruit, its uh, leaves are green when they should be, and it doesn't wither or fade. And so that will be something that will just uh, enforce in your life the spiritual strength and nourishment that you need as a Christian, not just to be at church on a Sunday and to pray and listen to God's Word on a Sunday, but every day to spend a few minutes, take 10 minutes a day, whether it's early in the morning or late in the evening, uh, you know, when you're getting up or going to bed, take some time to read, to pray, and to, to do that as an individual or as a family. And uh, that will just strengthen and nourish your faith 
and mature your walk with him. Ultimately, what we're looking for in the church is uh, mature Christians, that we go beyond being a babe in Christ that needs to be fed all the time and become what we might call self-feeding Christians, the ability to read God's word, to study it, and to, to be able to glean from that wonderful truth with the aid of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So we trust that the Lord will bless you and be with you. And just to take some time, maybe this week, to also reflect on Psalm 1 and see the benefit that you have in reading God's Word each day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your Word is like the water of a stream, uh, which, Lord, if we are planted in it and we draw our sustenance from it every day, we will bear fruit and we will be nourished and will mature in our walk with you. Help our people, Lord God, to see the tremendous treasure and benefit there is from the Word of God. And we give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Well, God bless. You have a wonderful week. And we'll be praying for you and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.